So why is it so critical to follow these rules to get this resistant carb into your diet? So these rules literally allow you to have your cake and eat it too. They allow you to eat carbohydrates without causing the spike in blood sugar that we said was a risk factor for diabetes. They can help to prevent cancer, as we heard from some of the studies. Mm. And importantly, they help with digestion. So resistant carbs are a form of prebiotic. They're sort of food for the bacteria. They encourage a growth of good bacteria in the colon. So come take a look. We've got four resistant carb rules we're going to go through. And I'm going to begin with this first rule because so many of you adore pasta. Women crave it. Talk to me about it. And I hammer on this reality. We have to be thoughtful about our, our carbs. So resistant carb rule number one is eat your pasta undercooked. So you can still have it, but you have to undercook it. What are the benefits of undercooking pasta? So eating undercooked pasta, what we call al dente pasta, meaning firm to the bite, makes it much more resistant to being broken down by the enzymes in the small intestine that cause that blood sugar spike again. So it's sort of like if you cook a tomato sauce and allow it to cool, it thickens. Mm -hmm. Well, the crystals in these resistant starches, when they cool, thicken, and they become more resistant to being broken down. So they become sort of super resistant starches, if you will. Right, so how do you tell? I want you to take all your pastas from now on, and I want you to cook them three to four minutes less than what the packet instructs. And when you do that, you see how this sort of tears? It sort of snaps and then tears a little bit, as opposed to what would happen with the regular pasta. By the way, this is the exact same pasta. These are not different types of products. The exact same pasta, notice the size difference even. One gets swollen with water, which makes it much easier for the body to digest it and absorb it, goes right to your waist size. But the al dente pasta, it creates a party in your colon. They're down there dancing around, right? All the bacteria loving it because these are prebiotics. Yes. So they're chomping down on these things and everyone's happy. Your body, parts of your body you don't even know about are happy because you've got al dente pasta flowing down. So what are the, because these benefits are so great, how many times do you think we can eat pasta a week? You can get away with eating pasta one or two times a week without adding a bunch of inches and reaping the health benefits of this resistant carb. You must be happy now. I gave pasta back to you. You have pasta. All right. The second resisting carb rule is to use a cook then cool technique. You're going to love this idea. Dr. Chutkin, please explain. And again, when you cool these resistant carbs, you change a nutritional profile. We talked about the tomato sauce again, the, the crystals thickening. So you end up with a more resistant starch eating it chilled or at room temperature than eating it right off the stove. This is an example here of some rice and beans, a great source of resistant carbohydrates, particularly if you're using brown rice as you have used here. And eating it cooled or at room temperature makes it that much more resistant. I love that idea. There's two good tips. The same exact foods cook yes. differently and they put our starch resistant rules. If you do that, how often can you have the, the beans and the rice? I say two or three times a week, either as a main dish or a side dish because there's so many digestive and health benefits to eating this sort of food. Yeah, they're having high fives in your colon if you do this stuff. <laughs> they're part of you. Third is resisting carb rule is to buy the bees and specifically beans, barley, and bread. Why are they okay now? So these are important, not just okay, but important because A, they have more fiber than other forms of carbohydrate, other starchy carbohydrates, and they produce less glucose breakdown, less insulin release. So more fiber, they keep you full, and they don't contribute as much to diabetes and to your waistline. And is it any kind of bread? I mean, what rules do you have there? Whole grains in particular, whole grain bread. So 100% whole grain, you're good to go? Ideally, yes. Okay, and if last rule, I'd never heard of this concept before. But this is actually native to, you, to the country you come I'm from. I'm right at home with the, this. The final resisting carb rule is are to eat green bananas. Now, how many of you, be honest here, when you go to the grocery store, you look for those yellow, perfect bananas. Let me see some hands. Everybody. Yeah, I, I used to until today. Never again. From now on, I want you to start buying green bananas. And Dr. Chuck can explain why they're more powerful than traditional ripe yellow bananas. So green bananas, where I come from in Jamaica, we use them the same way you use mashed potatoes. We boil them and we mash them and we use them as an accompaniment to meat or chicken or fish or vegetables. So they're our starch, the way your potatoes or rice are a starch. And green bananas have more resistant starch, more fiber, and less sugar than mm. ripe bananas. So Ripe bananas are fine, they have important health benefits too, but less sugar, less calories, more resistant starch, more fiber, make these an ideal food to incorporate into some of your meals. And again, specifically, you, you, it's hard to peel the green banana, so you yes. boil it first. Boil it first it in like the this. skin, yes, it looks, doesn't look so appetizing with the skin, but when you boil it in the skin, it's very easy to peel after. See, the skin just comes away very easily, and then you mash it. I must admit, I like to put a little butter and salt and pepper in it, and wonderful, wonderful with a stew, curried chicken, great 
as a side dish. I like bananas, the ripe ones, but they do have a fair amount of sugar. And you mentioned there's less sugar here, so can we yes. eat more green bananas? Absolutely. So for ripe bananas, if you're watching your weight, I say no more than one or two a week. But from green bananas, you can add an additional two to three servings a week.